When you have a question, you ask an expert, right? That's why I asked a Plymouth salesman this question. How does Fury top Impala in 1970? And Charlie said, let's have lunch and I'll show you what we have that Impala can't equal. Plymouth makes it. Plymouth makes it. I always begin with Plymouth's overall beauty. Even with a hard-nosed guy who knows all about Plymouth's new wide stance, new sound conditioning, and new anti-theft ignition lock on the steering column. You know, the guy who wants a price. Walking around the car gives me a chance to talk general styling leadership and size up the prospect. Here's where I emphasize our new 62-inch wide stance for stability. Then I move in close and talk about the specifics. I mean the benefits and features that we have over our competition. Look at the larger Plymouth wraparound bumper for extra protection, with about twice the taillight area as Chevrolet. Here's real convenience, Plymouth's curbside deck lock, for safety too, but not Chevrolet. Our two-door has 21.5 cubic feet of trunk space, 3.4 cubic feet more capacity than Chevrolet. That's almost 20% larger than Chevrolet. See here, the Chevy drip molding looks added on. The Fury drip molding is flush. It makes the whole top look better. And Plymouth Fury's vinyl insert side molding is nearly twice the size of Impala's for more protection and parallel parking. What are you, some kind of nut? I am a car nut, and I'm showing my friends some of the things on my car that you didn't get with yours. Is that supposed to be a new approach? Let me show you something. Just sit in my car for 15 seconds. I want to prove something. You really are a nut. That's a little thing, right? But sure handy. <laughs> Big deal. There's more to a car than a dumb glove box. Yes, there's more to a car than a glove box. And Charlie went to work and pointed out many of the differences and advantages that Fury has over Impala. Like Sport Fury's massive loop bumper that completely surrounds the glittering bright metal grill with concealed headlights standard, making for a rugged, masculine appearance. And Plymouth's sleek twin power dome hood with optional hood-mounted turn signal indicator lights. When it comes to getting in and out, Plymouth makes that easier, too, for drivers and passengers. The Fury 3 door opening is 38 and a half inches, a full three inches wider than the Impala. That's no small advantage. The Fury rear seat is easier to get into with the convenient seat latch release. Notice that Impala locates this behind the seat where it's hard to find from outside. Plymouth gives the driver instruments group for convenient use and observation but not Chevrolet. Here's the only gauge there is on Chevy. Everything else concerning engine operation is shown with lights. Notice that Chevrolet's ashtray hits the driver's knee. For the driver who smokes, that's a little too convenient. Plymouth's steering wheel has a horn ring that's easy to hit in a hurry. Chevrolet's wheel has only two small buttons to sound the horn. The Fury brake pedal with automatic transmission is three and a quarter inches wider than the Chevrolet brake pedal for added convenience and left foot braking safety in stop and go driving. The Plymouth driver controls both fresh air vents from beside the steering column. Chevrolet has one control on the left, the other is at the extreme right, impossible to reach from the driver's position. On the floor, Chevy's tunnel is two and one half inches wider, higher too than Plymouth's making it awkward for the center passenger. In the rear, Chevrolet passengers have five and one half inches less flat floor space, another inconvenience for Chevy passengers. And when you compare shoulder belt storage, you see Plymouth provides a handsome plastic covered clip. Chevrolet, two bare wires. Something else, while all Fury two doors have ventless side glass, four door models have the handy vent wings in front Chevy gives no choice, ventless side glass on all models. Another point that is part of the whole story, Plymouth windows go up or down in four and three quarter turns, a full turn less than on Chevrolet. Impala has insulation only on the sides of the top. The center section, about two feet wide, has no padding. The Fury top is fully insulated against sound and heat. Gee, Charlie. I didn't know there was so much to know about cars. Well, there's lots more. Start the engine. I want you to make a simple test. Go ahead, back up. Can you see the rear fenders? 
Gee, Charlie, it's so easy. Not at all like my car. That's right. The Chevy Rear Vision, well, it's downright poor. You back up slowly until you hear the crunch or breaking glass. You can see better up front, too, because Fury is three inches wider, windshield post to windshield post. And the Fury mirror is two inches narrower, so it doesn't block so much of the forward view. More little things that add up to better visibility. A natural question is, what else does Chevy have in full-size cars besides the Caprice two-door hardtop? Well, they have nine models, plus four station wagons. The Caprice is offered as a hardtop coupe or hardtop sedan. Impala comes as custom coupe, sport coupe, sport sedan, all hardtops, a four-door, and a convertible. Bel Air and Biscayne are offered only as four-door sedans. Against Chevy's nine models, Fury offers 15, plus six Fury Bromes, plus six wagons, that's 27 models. Starting at the top, there's Sport Fury GT and Sport Fury S23. No match in the Chevrolet lineup. Against the two Chevy Caprice models, Sport Fury offers a two-door hardtop, a two-door formal hardtop, a four-door hardtop, and a four-door sedan. And remember, the luxurious Sport Fury Brougham with split bench twin center folding armrests Passenger seat recliner and individual adjustment is available on all Sport Furies. Chevy's best seat with center folding armrest is on the Caprice four-door hardtop only. In addition, there are five Fury 3 models, two Fury 2 models, and two Fury 1 models. A much broader choice for the new car prospect than offered by Impala. In station wagons, Chevy offers the Kingswood Estate, Kingswood, Townsman, and Brookwood, all on a 119-inch wheelbase. That's three inches shorter than Fury Wagons. Fury Wagon exclusives include features like the integral air deflector that keeps the tailgate window clear and the standard electric tailgate window. The biggest flat load area in the industry, over four by eight feet with tailgate closed. Plus, the exclusive optional tailgate window washer wiper and three fender well storage compartments. Oh, Charlie, I don't know what I'm looking at. Aren't engines, you know, about the same if they have the same horsepower? In sixes, Chevy has a 155 horsepower engine. Ours rates 145 horsepower. Chevy's standard V8 is 250 horsepower with four options available. Plymouth's standard V8 is the 230 horsepower, and we also have four options. You should know this. Plymouth engineers consistently get more power per cubic inch of engine than Chevrolet. That's efficiency in design, meaning efficiency of operation for the driver. Okay, Charlie. Now, what did I miss by not reading the owner's manual? First, Chevrolet recommends chassis lubrication every 6,000 miles. Plymouth recommends it every 36,000 miles, or every three years. And Chevrolet recommends changing automatic transmission oil and filter after 12,000 miles. This is not necessary under normal conditions with torque flight. But what does it mean, Charlie? It means you spend more money on service with Chevrolet, or you may spend even more on repairs. You know something, Charlie? You know more than the man who sold me my car. Listen to this. For strength, silence, and long life, Plymouth gives you unibody all-welded construction, not body on frame like Chevrolet. To keep the new look longer, Plymouth gives you seven-step dip and spray anti-rust treatments, not spray only like Chevrolet. And three coats of acrylic enamel instead of acrylic lacquer like Chevrolet. Go ahead, start that engine, and let's find some bumpy roads so you can see how torsion bar front suspension and leaf rear suspension deliver better stability and control than Chevrolet's four coil springs. I learned a lot from old Charlie about Plymouth Fury and Impala, about selling, and mostly why we say Plymouth makes it, Plymouth makes it.